Hey, what is going on, you gargling gal? Like, that's right, I finally am playing with some of the new top decks that came out of Palea Evolved. I've finally tried out Xi'an Pao. I mean, just kind of in general, I've been playing more Pokemon. I haven't played on PTCG Live in a while, but I'm finally streaming PTCG Live again over at twitch.tv slash azulegg. So if you want to catch me playing some Pokemon, check it out over there. Link, of course, is in the description. And I know a lot of you are going to have a lot to say about more, where my list is currently at. I don't care if you like B-Barrel. I'm trying it without it. So far, it's been working pretty good. This list has actually felt pretty solid so far. I've really been enjoying it. So we got a really straightforward, consistent build. No Palkia, no B-Barrel. I get it. I know what they do. I know how they function. I've heard it a thousand times at this point. So we got a four. Why is the Chien Pound between the Frigid Backs and the Backside? We got a 403 Backscalibur, three rare candy for those four Chien Pao, because opening Chien Pao is pretty cool. Got a Mew in here as well. Really helps with the late game Ionos and stuff like that to help find our superior energy retrievals uh, towards the end of the game. One Luminian V. This card has been insanely good. I would 100% be playing Luminian V in all my Chien Pao Backscalibur builds, probably. And then, of course, the Radiant Greninja, which is just an insane draw support pokemon in this deck so insane that i'm actually including the heavy ball which i don't think i would include if we didn't have the greninja for the supporters the four irida of course i got three iono i got the one avery in here because it's really good in the guardy matchup i don't know if i'm going to keep this or not but right it's in here for now and i haven't really fully flushed it out against the guardy matchup but i really like the idea of it up against guardy also i really like the idea of it up against mew as well knock out their active mew v max plus make them discard two bench Pokemon. They only have three Pokemon left in play after that to then draw up again with Genesect. Theoretically, sounds really, really good against Mew as well. Uh, three bosses orders. Uh, and then from there, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really too special in here. I'm a big fan of Lost City. I know Skater Park is pretty cool as well, but Lost City is really good against Guardi, really good against Lost Box, the top two decks in the format right now. I don't know. I'd rather have a card that is a little bit more disruptive against those decks than just having kind of effective free retreat with the Skater Park. So been digging the lost cities for sure that's it i don't have anything else to say i'm probably gonna evolve my list a lot past this listen this is not my final iteration of this deck but it's what i've been liking what i've built up to so far been enjoying it go check out some more gameplay from me with this deck check out the secondary youtube channel azul gg2 there's a video up there right now with more chi and pow action and let's go ahead and let's get into some action here on the main youtube channel Guardy, okay seems tough Winnable though, winnable. So I want to get down a couple for Jabaks. Um, Greninja ideally. If the heavy ball for Greninja, we could do that. Two Chien Pao, two Frigid Backs. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, the card, the like the card value you gain, like with this deck, is actually kind of insane. Okay, so this first. do this and get the I think I'll hold the other one because if they I own me I might want to be able to use Luminium this next I could I know them but I don't think that really makes a whole ton of s what the heck they had double metal VIP pass Jesus oh jeez. yeah I actually don't know what to do from here to be honest I think we just go um you can't use Lumini with well. I know, yeah. That's not what I meant. That's not what, even what I said, I don't think. <clears throat> what do we have in hand? This and What would I ever possibly need next turn besides that? I could just grab the VIP pass and use it. I wouldn't grab anything. I do want to set up potentially a third back Scalibur though. That's my candy count. One surprised. All right, let's do this. Should I just grab another Frigid backs here? 
I like the idea of doing that because I want to do it anyways at some point. But if I get Iono next turn, I might regret this. The squad out there. What does he have in his hand? Oh, that is part of him. My bad. My bad. Jabax. If I get Iono here, I might regret not having the bench press open for uh, the uh, other card, whatever it's called. Let's see, <clears throat> see how this goes. I don't think I'm going to get one hit KO'd this turn. I guess it is possible, but they have like only one energy in the discard pile. My guess, well, it's actually, it's pretty possible to be honest. Especially if they draw into a research, it's definitely possible. Well, no, because they would have to get candy. They have to get double candy guardies out to one hit KO me. So it's pretty unlikely. Yeah, it's pretty unlikely. So I'll be able to get the first prize card here, but or I should be able to get the first prize card here. And if I do KO a Manaphy, I might be able to Lost City it or Lost Zone and then use Greninja as a follow up, which would be pretty good. And then could I can maybe even chain attacks with back Scalibers from there, depending on how the matchup plays out after that. But yeah, if I can Lost Zone there, Manaphy this next turn, that'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty sick, man. Top deck where candy would also be pretty good here, so I could candy out double back Scalibur. That would be an insane top deck, actually. Yeah, there's the Iono. That's what I was scared of, though. I mean, I guess I can always get the knockout here, because I'm always going to be able to knock out. Yeah, I'm always going to be able to get a KO here, I guess. Okay, that wasn't bad. And I do want to knock out the Manaphy here. I think. I think it makes... It's, like, fine to knock out the Manaphy here. Well, I mean, if I play Escape Up, they're just pushing up Greninja, so... Alright, so we're not getting KO'd this turn. They could punch us with a Guardi EX. That doesn't make a whole ton of sense for them to do. What's my opinion on Memory Skip Ralts? I would definitely play one, yeah. Drifloon? Okay. Top of Candy? I mean, Top of Candy's okay, but it's not necessary, to be honest. They are gonna... Oh, no. Them running here does make sense. They should run to Greninja here. But then I maybe should... Then I... Oh, they ran to a Ralts. If I play Escape up here, they always push Greninja, right? I guess that's never really happening then. Okay, so we should go. Um, Jibber chill first. I don't think there's anything in the. Ooh. Oh. Should I go for the boss KO on the Manaphy? I don't actually know. Boss Manaphy is definitely tempting here. Uh, all right, let's do it. It opens up a lot of uh, aggressive routes for me on my next turn, so. Play this to burn out of the deck. <clears throat> yeah, it opens a lot of, I actually think we, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna play an Avery. <laughs> Avery would be really good in this matchup to be able to go like Luminion for an Avery play Avery like wreck their bench and then take a knockout or something like yeah I actually kind of want uh <clears throat> I don't want to play an Avery in here to be honest they definitely are gonna get enough energy this turn right yeah we're definitely getting knocked out this turn but we'll have some options on how to respond this turn, potentially. I'm definitely, I'm definitely down to play the Avery, yeah. Mew, Guardi, Chi, and Pao. I don't think Avery's that good against Chi and Pao. Good against Guardi and Mew, though. You say Avery is... A very... Oh, a very good... I literally... I, I did not read what you said at all there. 
<clears throat> There's a guard EX. We're definitely knocked out here, right? But depending on how much more evolving they get done, we're gonna be able to take out some of the, the squad here. We'll see. Got the freaking <laughs> Frigidback squad on the bench. <laughs> Just sitting there menacingly, getting ready to go. Oh, here comes the super odd. They probably get the mana fee back here. That's what I was like. That's what I was like thinking. Is like, is it really worth carrying the mana fee here? Because what if they do just recover it? Then I just don't really have a good, as good of a play this turn. Yeah. <clears throat> See now they just recover it. Hmm. But now my play is what? Probably attack with Backscalibur, but that's kind of scary if I only have one Backscalibur set up. So I'm gonna try and set up two Backscalibers here. I don't want to attack with Chi and Pao here. I definitely want to attack with Backscalibur here. I like them burning Rod for Manaphy early though. I mean, not really. I don't know. It's like, okay. It's like, I didn't... Because I didn't KO a Ralts or a Curlia, it's like the same trade-off, basically. But it did give, does give me the option of this turn, if they don't get a Rod, if they don't have a Rod, then I can like kind of start to pull ahead. Yeah, I think I am going to add an Avery to the deck. Definitely gonna add an Avery to the deck. Sounds like really good against Guardy, which is the BDIF, so you gotta kinda beat Guardy. Also, we're probably gonna have to add B Barrel as well before the Guardy matchup once again, because it sounds pretty tough to beat Guardy without having an answer to Iono in our late game. Um, wait, can I just KO them with this? We can just tackle for the knockout. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, to be honest. But yeah, we're just gonna go. Let's go, bro. Frigidbax, no, bro, what? All right, never mind, Frigidbax, you might not be going in. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, we're good, we're good. Frigidbax is making it work. <clears throat> yeah, Frigidbax is about to go in. This is not looking good, though, as far as the price strike goes. This is not looking like a, a dub like an L, but we are cutting into their draw power with each knockout we take, so. Okay. I feel like I have to use concealed cards here. Like I need the card draw. I need to like dig deeper into my deck or whatever. Okay, so that's good. Okay, that's really good. Wow. Oh yeah, wow. Um, yeah. Get him, buddy. Go one, two. How many energy were left in my deck? A lot, right? Three. I just maybe hold one. And we got the Lost City as well. Lost Schmitty, and then eat him. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Your backs goes hard in this matchup. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, boss man, if he's definitely a misplay there. Well, no, because I feed him a two prize knockout, and then they should win the prize trade from there, right? Even if I pulled off a two prize knockout. World's first Frigidbax KO. No shot, bro. Frigidbax has been taking, taking names. Frigidbax stays doing it up like that. Okay, Guardi's back. 
What are they gonna do with it though? What you gonna do with that guardy, buddy? I'm gonna get Iono'd again. Also my Chien Pao. The Frigibax, I don't think it's gonna be able to do it again, right? <laughs> I don't think Frigibax is doing it again. Um, so I have to attack with Baxcalibur here. I assume. I loaded up quite a few more energy on there. So yeah, we have to KO with, with Baxcalibur. So I think I still push up Frigibax and then I use Greninja. And if I draw to a rare candy or an Irida, then I can candy out that one and attach to it and attack for the knockout. We're definitely getting to a spot though where I'm gonna wish I had B Barrel in play. Um, Cause as I start to get Iono towards this end game here, I'm just gonna have no, no resources. Now, if I get an Iono this turn though, if I can play Iono this turn though, that would be a pretty powerful play to be honest. And I do play a lot of Ionos. See what they got though. We're definitely not, okay, there's station. We're not in a terrible spot. Yeah, if we play Iono here, my opponent doesn't have a whole ton going on. Still have a lot of energy left in the deck though, so they'd still be drawn quite a bit with the Greninja. So I think setting up Frigid backs here makes the most sense. So we'll start with that. <clears throat> I might be able to candy it into the other Baxcalibur. Mm. I start with this. I could get Luminian. For Iono. Okay. I do want a Luminian for Iono here, I feel like. Let me see how I'm gonna cook this real fast. I can take the knockout with Luminian as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can go. save the boss in the deck. Maybe I could have saved the back Excalibur instead. I actually don't know there. Actually, this is super cool that you can do this with Luminion in this matchup. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. <clears throat> Until like right now, I'm like, oh shoot, this is actually pretty good. Oh sheesh, man. That's pretty cool play you got there. We just push up uh your backs. Yep. Still close though. Like we're not like uh I don't I don't think we have the advantage right now. But my opponent has like very limited draw power in play, so who knows what they'll actually be able to pull off this turn. I can at the very least attack with Guardi and knock on my active, but we could get Chi and Pow, but we're not able to get the KO yet. So we have to like Greninja into something. That's possible though, and then we can knock this out, and then maybe that would be enough. Also, I think their pokes has been pretty cool so far as well. Okay. What are they even what can they even get? Maybe they play a if they play a Luminion, this would be pretty annoying. No draw power in play. They have to actually put a full 60 on their active. I guess that doesn't really change my math. I mean either hitting for 240 or 300. Right? But actually, I think we're in an okay spot here for sure. If I did have B Barrel here, yeah, the Lost Cities have been. Had the Lost Cities been doing that much? Well, they didn't. They were never able to super out another Rolts into play, which is like a pretty big deal to not have access for them to not have access to that. It has been doing a decent amount of work. I don't know. <clears throat> if I attack with, well, yeah, just if they get the other Guardi X, they just win actually <laughs> because they have Zation. So, Do I ever have like a weird win condition here. Could boss loss zone there. Oh wait, they're just loading up the Zation right now. So what is my win con? I feel like they just win actually. They only have one boss left. So if I go boss KO Zation, which I have I don't have a guarantee, I need to find it. Um Could boss loss on the Zation, but then they just went with boss. But I guess there's nothing I can really do about that, I don't think. I think if they just have it, they just have it, right? I'm 
just hope they don't have it like that. Okay. Oh, I just messed that up so bad. <laughs> I got lucky there. <laughs> Oops. I was supposed to definitely use Shivery Chill first. I don't think I need either of these. I don't need the red candy. I never need the red candy, actually. So we should do this, actually. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. That's funny. <clears throat> I guess if they play Path to the Peak, I'd want that, but... uh. I don't know. I guess maybe I could have vacuumed here instead. All right, send it to the law zone. But yeah, if they have boss, they just win. They do have a boss left. Almost every list plays two. They also have their pal pad left, I believe. I don't think they've used their pal pad yet. We got it close though. Yeah, if they set, this is just a tough matchup. It feels like I don't know. Um. Okay, with limiting to save energy. Uh, I guess I could have, well, I don't know if I, yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe, I guess I could have done that. I don't know if that makes more sense or not, to be honest. Um, yeah, all their big attackers are in the loss zone now though, right? Yeah, I've lost on all, both their guardies and their Zacian. So they can't KO, they literally can't KO my active here unless they play like two Zacian or something, which like pretty much no one plays. So it really does just come down to do they have boss. They could Iono me to one though, and I could not draw into an out actually. Um, Yeah. Super Rod? What would they ever want a Super Rod here, though? Maybe they put back energy and then play Iono here? Maybe I should have left a second energy in the deck, actually, the more that I'm thinking about it. I think I should have left a second energy in the deck. Oh, Cresselia, no! I forgot about Cresselia! <laughs> Mm, okay, this was close. Yeah, I forgot about the Cresselia, but yeah, they just KO Cresselia, KO. Your backs, right? Mm, could I have done anything about that? I couldn't have gotten, no, I couldn't have candied out my Frigid backs. I could have like benched less Frigid backs to begin with in the beginning of the game. Mm, yeah, maybe if I had benched <laughs> Danny DeVito. Yeah, if I had benched less Frigid backs at the beginning of the game, that would have worked. 